This bait here has been absolutely phenom for me on the Great Lakes. There's some competitors here that I fish against. They don't know this, but I am telling the people today. There's one. Got my first fish. It's not even. All right, one more cast, and then you can try. I'm. Ooh. But my buddy Angel R from Angel R Fishing, I will link him down below. Drop shots these for River Smallmouth and has a lot of luck on them. Hey folks, Angel R Fishing back at you guys with another video. In this video, we will be doing a Tackle Tuesday where we're going to be talking about a piece of tackle that we have been using for some time. In this scenario, we're going to be talking about another Nico product, that being the Nico Baits Tadpole. This little guy, I'm going to be showing you three different ways I like to rig it up as well as some colors that are available here at a local bait shop called Lee's Main Tackle located in Elk Grove Village and in Carroll Stream, Illinois. So let's get right into this video, guys. All right, guys, first way you can rig up the Tadpole is using a little tiny drop shot. This is really effective in clear bodies of water that are pressured as well. Whether you're fishing in the Midwest, down south, east or west, or up north, this is something you must try with the tadpole as it is super effective for clear bodies of water, whether you're targeting smallmouth or largemouth. As you guys see in the underwater footage, the tadpole has great action on the drop shot. Another way to rig up the tadpole is my favorite method and that's using jig heads or even a micro jig. I like the jig head for rivers stuff like that you guys can use it for whatever you feel like is best for you wherever you're fishing but this is what the tadpole looks like and this is what it looks like on a micro jig and here's some underwater footage as well the tadpole is really nice on a micro jig because the tadpole is able to stand up perfectly vertical in the bottom making it look like a z-man trd except in the profile of a tadpole allowing you to get more action and introduce the fish something they have never seen before as you guys can see, the smallest twitch on that micro jig has a big impact on the way the tadpole's tail moves in the water. This bluegill I have in my tank is pretty interested in the micro jig as well. As you guys can see, it keeps eyeballing my bait. Another favorite method of rigging up the tadpole is basically a simple nose hook. As you guys will see in the footage from Creek Fishing Adventures, he fishes a tadpole nose hook and does pretty well catching all different sorts of species in a creek. This is also a great way to imitate like a tiny little bug or a little mouse on the surface as something smallmouth will love to chew on or even largemouth. This is a super effective way to rig it up and catch fish as well. Well folks, those are three different ways that I like to rig up the tadpole. There's also multiple different ways out there to rig it up. You just got to sit there and mess around with see what works best for you. Now with that being said guys, I want to show you four different colors that are available here at a local bait shop called Lee's Bait and Tackle within the Chicago land area. All right guys, going from left to right, first color we have is natural, followed by green pumpkin, pearl, and watermelon red flake. There are two other colors available as well. Those are called clear pink and clear yellow. You can buy those either on amazon.com or you can look up nico-fishing.com. Well folks, that's it for today's Tackle Tuesday video. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoy this content, please be sure to smash the like button on this video. Drop a positive comment to be featured in a positive comment shout out because we do appreciate all the positive comments that we get in this channel. And also be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you guys are subscribed to the channel, be sure to turn on post notification bell to be alerted whenever I do upload the new video. You guys can stay up to date with the channel and never miss any great content that I have created for you guys. Anyways guys, thank you and I'll see you guys on the next one.